Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, over time what we learn is that in Windows 11 what will be replacing the default either command prompt or PowerShell prompt is going to be the Windows Terminal. Um, from now on Microsoft is focusing on making Windows Terminal a um, you know the default app that will run. Why? Because it can do whatever you want that you did with PowerShell or with the command prompt, but it's more powerful for automation of tasks. So when you right click on your start menu or start button, you'll see that it's Windows Terminal that is there. And depending on what you do, maybe you want to have the command prompt, maybe you want to have uh, the PowerShell as a default. What you could do is simply go and click on the Windows Terminal. In here, you'll be in whatever you choose. I, right now, have chosen Command Prompt. It says at the top left. And what happens is you can go to Open Settings in the top here, and you can change that default. By default, it's the PowerShell. So you have Windows PowerShell, the Command Prompt, or the Azure Cloud Shell for those that actually do things with that. So you choose whatever default you want. Once you do, on the bottom right, you will have the Save button. This will actually save the default. Um, there are other things you could do. There's a Launch on Machine Startup for power users that always need their command prompts or their PowerShell or whatever. So you can turn that on. And the Launch Mode, you can choose which one you want. I will choose, for example, Maximize and save that. Maximize means it opens pretty much in full screen mode, but with the borders. So let's right click and go to Windows Terminal. And here I am, maximized. And now I'm in the PowerShell because I've changed it. So it's as simple as that. You just go to Open Settings at the top. Choose whatever is the useful one for you. Choose the launch mode or if you want it to launch or not on the startup. Click Save to save the changes, and the next time you will power up the um, terminal, you'll be in that mode that you actually have uh, chosen. And once again, remember, there's Terminal Standard and Terminal Admin. The difference is that the administrative terminal has much more power there are things you cannot do in, in just launching the terminal. You need to have admin power to uh, enable some of the more powerful commands to actually work. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.